The HP Storageworks LTO series of Ultrium tape drives are recognized and respected the world over for their reliability. However, no technology is 100% infallible and in very rare circumstances the tape may become stuck in the drive. This short film will demonstrate how to manually unload a tape from either a full height or half height LTO drive using the easiest, least invasive method. Failure to follow proper troubleshooting steps can lead to unnecessary hardware replacement and prolonged downtime, so it's important to follow all these guidelines to ensure the problem is identified and resolved correctly. Remember to let the drive attempt to recover itself automatically first. Power up the drive on the bench and let it run the recovery sequences. This may take up to 30 minutes. If this fails, then the forced eject can be activated by pressing and holding the eject button until the ready light flashes. Assuming these processes do not work, it may be necessary to manually extract the cartridge. Let's look at this process for a full height LTO drive first. Place the drive on its side with the eject button uppermost to provide access to the thumb wheel. Now wind the thumb wheel towards the rear of the drive. This positions the pin parking mechanism so that it's ready to accept the tape pin. Once the thumb wheel is fully rewound, it will spring back by itself. With the parking mechanism now set, you can begin to rewind the tape. To do this, insert a T10 Torx bit into the hole and rotate in a clockwise direction. This process can take a while, depending on how much media is on the back reel of the drive. But this is an important step if the drive is to be returned to full working order. An electric screwdriver should not be used to rewind the tape as the speed is too high. Keep turning the Torx driver until the reel stops with a positive click. This indicates that the tape is fully rewound and the leader pin is now back in the cartridge. Finally, hold the rewind tension on the Torx driver and turn the thumb wheel towards the front of the drive to eject the cartridge. Now, let's look at the manual cartridge extraction process for a half-height LTO drive. First, place the drive on its side as shown to provide access to the underside features. Next, turn the cog on the underside of the drive clockwise using the socket of a Torx driver. If a Torx driver is unavailable, the end of a pen can be used. This positions the pen parking mechanism so that it's ready to accept the tape pin. Once the cog is fully rewound, it will spring back by itself. Next, turn the motor screw closest to the front of the drive in a clockwise direction using a suitable Torx bit. During this process, it's a good idea to check that the rear motor screw is turning in unison. This confirms the tape is unwinding correctly. Keep turning until the reel stops with a positive click. Finally, hold the rewind tension on the torque driver and turn the cog counterclockwise to eject the cartridge. Your drive is now ready for use, but it's recommended that you discard the old cartridge. In the unlikely event that you're still experiencing problems with your drive, please contact HP Support for further assistance.